a narcissist's lie that was never told to you and you should know now. We appreciate you tuning in to Narcissist and Karma with us today. Today, we'll delve into the methods narcissists use to make amends for their transgressions. Not exactly atonement, since they're never sorry, but rather making things right again with as little pain as possible. When possible, people try to make up with one another or settle their differences. But narcissists have a very specific method they like to use. This characteristic is likely to be displayed frequently by narcissists because of their proficiency in wreaking havoc and inflicting pain on others. Therefore, it is not uncommon for arguments to arise during discussions with them. Apologizing is not an option for them. Instead, they will spin their wheels and try to shift the blame to someone else or something outside of themselves. There are many ways narcissists can sidestep the issue without actually solving it. But I'll go over the three most common ones here. For starters, narcissists would rather not hear about their blunders if the blame can't be shifted to someone else. They plan to make it so that people forget what happened. They would prefer that you never, ever, ever bring it up again. When it comes to their own shortcomings, narcissists are especially resistant to hearing the truth. They will think you care about them more if you act as if nothing has happened. Second, narcissists need to meet certain minimum requirements for the makeup or reconciliation to go as planned. One of their favorite strategies is buying you more time. Every narcissist employs this technique, whether they're dealing with a close relative, casual acquaintance, work colleague, or romantic interest. The narcissist may give you space to avoid apologizing or addressing the issue when they realize they have offended you. You have no choice but to ignore or stop communicating with them for some time so that the resumption of an old argument doesn't look ridiculous. Eventually, they'll come back to you with gifts and smiles, as if there was never any bad blood between you in the first place. The narcissist assumes you'll react favorably to their charm and follow their lead. Either you're ready to move on with the relationship as if nothing happened, or you're ready to try again while disregarding the past. The problem is you keep falling into the same trap, because narcissists never evolve. They're using the exact same strategies from decades ago, but they're trying to serve you on the idea that things will get better if you work with them. They're back to their old tricks though, and the moment you bring up their behavior once more, the narcissist will accuse you of being negative and living the past. They may try very hard to persuade you that you're a bad person for bringing up the past, and that you really ought to just forget the past and live in the here and now. Also, I'd like to stress that narcissists have a double standard. When it comes to their own mistakes, they refuse to take blame or make amends to the people they have wronged. People are quick to point fingers when they believe you are at fault. They would love to spend hours on end accusing you of being at fault for everything and beating guilt into your head. In light of this, we can no longer overlook their hypocrisy. Let's circle back around to the original subject. The narcissist will allow you ample time to recover from their behavior, hoping that you will simply forget about it and move on with your life. The narcissist may also choose to do nothing more than sit there and act as if they agree with everything you're saying while they listen to you. Some narcissists use this tactic to make it seem as if they are paying attention and are interested in what you have to say. But this is usually just an act. The narcissist may even nod in agreement and pretend to accept responsibility just to make the other person happy. But the narcissist is not accepting responsibility for anything and has no plans to start now. The narcissist believes they have done nothing wrong. They want you to blame them when they are innocent of any wrongdoing. It's possible they'll apologize for everything, even though they've done absolutely nothing wrong. They avoid taking ownership of their actions and instead offer platitudes like, okay, I'm sorry for anything I've done wrong. Narcissists will often go to great lengths to appear reasonable without ever taking responsibility for their actions. They are always on the lookout for new ways to make themselves seem reasonable while evading responsibility. Finally, when narcissists are unable to negotiate on their own terms, they often resort to seduction as a last resort. The narcissist believes that avoiding the other person and resorting to cheap talk or, better yet, sexual attempts will solve the issue. The narcissist will use emotional manipulation and emotional exploitation to convince you that they are worthy of your forgiveness and trust. Their goal is to break your will and morale. Narcissists 
will use the power of proximity to convince their victims that they are truly sorry and that all they want is to be in their company. As a matter of fact, it is a sign show to the real issue at hand. Every time, the narcissist wants to avoid talking about what they did wrong. They prefer the makeup and kiss method to talking about the real problem. Unfortunately, it usually ends up helping them out. From their perspective, mere broad strokes about the problem and empty promises of improvement are sufficient. Those who suffer from narcissism have a hard time taking responsibility for their actions and are convinced they have nothing to apologize for. If you want things to get back on track, the other person needs to pretend like the offense never happened and the problem was just a misunderstanding. But it is our duty to shatter the narcissist's delusions and force him or her to face the truth. I think you'll find this brief explanation helpful. In the space provided, I would appreciate hearing your take on the matter. If you want to be notified or upload a new video, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell. We value your time and effort continually. I appreciate it. Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back in the Narcissist and Karma channel. Narcissists use various methods to make amends for their transgression, such as making things right again with minimal pain. They have specific methods of blaming others for their wrongs, and often use tactics such as buying more time to avoid apologizing or addressing the issue. This can be done by shifting the blame to someone else or something outside of themselves. Narcissists are resistant to hearing the truth and will think you care about them more if you act as if nothing has happened. Narcissists use the same strategies from decades ago to try to sell you on the idea that things will get better if you work with them. They accuse you of being negative and living in the past and try to persuade you to forget the past. They have a double standard refusing to take blame or make amends to the people they have wronged. Narcissists may even lie and act as if they are paying attention, but this is usually just a knack. People can overlook their hypocrisy and allow them to recover from their behavior. Narcissists are often blamed for anything and believe they have done nothing wrong. They pretend to accept responsibility and offer platitudes like, I'm sorry for anything I've done wrong. They are always on the lookout for new ways to make themselves seem reasonable while evading responsibility. When they are unable to negotiate on their own terms, they often resort to seduction and emotional manipulation to convince others of their worth. Narcissists use the power of proximity to convince their victims that they are truly sorry and that all they want is to be in their company. The narcissist should avoid talking about the real issue at hand instead of paying for the makeup and kiss metal. However, this usually ends up helping them out. Those who suffer from narcissism have difficulty taking responsibility for their action and are convinced they have nothing to apologize. To get back on track, the other person needs to pretend like the offense never happened and the problem was just a misunderstanding. So, what do you think of these videos? I hope this video is useful and can add knowledge how to deal with narcissists. Please help our channel grow even more by clicking the like button, subscribe and share these videos to your family or friends. Many thanks and have a nice day.